Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. And today, I'm excited to share with you guys another great product uh, for your home. And this falls under the smart home tech category. And this is the device right here. And this is the Sansi Stellar Cam. And so this is the box, of course. You can see what the device looks like. I'll show you that in a second. I'm not gonna get too involved in showing you the box. Uh, most important, Sansi is the company name. Sansi's been in business for quite some time now, producing a lot of LED lights. They were nice enough to send me uh, about, about a year or so ago one of their LED spotlights that I reviewed. Uh, super bright, works great. I use it all the time in the garage. Um, I was gonna mount it outside to be like kind of like a security light, uh, but again, I didn't have anywhere to mount it, so I just use it as a shop light. Uh, so this device right here, let me go ahead and show you here before I ramble on too much. This is the device right here and this is awesome this is an awesome product now I haven't mounted this yet because again I don't have anywhere to put this uh, at the moment and if you know for me to use this I'm gonna have to have sort of some sort of exterior box put in I'm just not really sure I want to go through the house of doing that yet I may mount it at my parents house because they have a couple locations where this can be utilized so what is it basically it's pretty much what you see is what you get here it is a hardwired security camera slash motion sensing LED security light and what's really great about this is in a, if you've watched my other videos on home surveillance and smart home tech, um, it becomes difficult when you're trying to run cameras around your house. If you're going to add security system to your house, in most cases, you don't have outlets outside and, and or not, not outlets outside, you don't have outlets in the soffits where you want to mount these things. You know, you don't necessarily want to have put this down for a second and explain something. You don't necessarily want to have your security cameras in an environment where somebody just reach up and snip the wire or just unplug them. Uh, my folks have, uh, when they built their house, uh, they kind of thought about that ahead of time and they had uh, outlets mounted up in a lot of the soffits. So in their particular environment, they could easily just take a Wi-Fi camera, plug it in, mount the camera, be good to go, and it would be out of reach for a lot of people. Uh, where, but most houses I've seen don't have that. And they did that for mainly for the ease of putting up Christmas lights. They'd have a switch hooked up, they could turn the lights on or off, it's easy to plug them in, no running extension cord, just plug them right in right there. So I have a couple of cameras mounted there also that I utilize those. In my house, any kind of camera I use had to be PoE, which is power over ethernet, and I ran the lines out the soffits through the attic, inside the walls. It was a real ordeal. Um, the Wi-Fi cameras, even getting those, I was like, oh, I, I wasn't even thinking about it. I was only able to use a couple of those outside because there's really not a lot of place to plug them in. And where you could plug them in, I had to accept the fact that uh, and I did it in such a way where they're hard to find, but in some cases where I might have wanted to plug those in, you weren't able to because it would just be a very easy if somebody just unplugged the camera and then lose your footage. Now again, they have to get within, you know, they have to get within sight's distance of the camera, and that's something you have to kind of think about when you mount a camera is, you know, is somebody going to be able to tamper with it uh, to possibly break into your house and avoid getting caught? Uh, so there's different, many different cameras out there, you know, PoE, hardlined, uh, and PoE is a hardlined camera and then your Wi-Fi. It really depends on your situation. What I love about this device right here is that most houses have some sort of outdoor spotlight around the garage. Most houses have them in the backyard. It's just kind of customary for most houses to have an outdoor box put in where there is a flood uh, floodlight mounted. Um, now, my development is a little bit different. We have the exterior fixtures, and you could mount this there, but I personally don't want this mounted on my front door with a spotlight or a floodlight when somebody walks up to the door. Now, the nice thing about this, you can turn off the feature and uh, the floodlight light feature. Uh, I believe you turn off the motion detecting feature, although I haven't tested it yet. But the light is controllable through the Wi-Fi system built into the device and through their app. Now, I haven't downloaded the app yet. I haven't hooked this thing up. What I'm probably going to do to test this thing is just maybe temporarily kind of rig it up to an extension cord and just kind of go through the features. And I will re-review this at a later date to let you guys know a little bit more about the features. But per my understanding, um, it is 2.4 gigahertz compatible. So uh, that's what it's going to have to connect to in your network. It connects like any other Wi-Fi system or Wi-Fi camera. Uh, you have your mounting plate on the back. You're just standard ground and uh hot leads, I believe, I believe it's called hot and neutral, I believe. Um, pretty much hooks up like any other light fixture, so if you have experience doing that, uh, I always say if you're not comfortable doing that, call an electrician, have it professionally done. Uh, but I've done a lot of things like that, so this wouldn't really be an issue for me to hook it up. You have eight 
LEDs, and if this is anything like the spotlight that they sent me or the floodlight that they sent me, this is going to be extremely bright. The nice thing about it too is these things last a really long time, and you're not have to worry about changing the bulb, climbing up a ladder. Once you put this in, you're pretty much good to go. Um, it does have a built-in siren, so you can set this, I believe, when there's motion to activate or uh, when you get the push alert on your phone that, hey, this thing sees motion, you can scare somebody off by activating the siren. I think it's a really great feature uh, in the event that you, you, know, you have this in your backyard, somebody comes on your property, bam, you can turn on the lights if they're not on already. And again, I assume that you can turn these lights on or off with the app. It does say on the box light control via their app. So I assume that this thing is completely compatible uh, with the app, but I won't know until I actually get to test it out. Uh, you have, I believe, a 1080p camera, night vision, motion detection. Uh, so pretty much like any other standard camera would have. And then you have your reset button directly on top. Uh, I think it's a great device. And the nice thing about something like this, and let me give you guys a little more close up here. Uh, plenty of adjustment in the camera. Uh, now, where I wanted to mount this at my folks' house, if that's the route, it would be upside down. So I have to, I believe this, uh, this kind of coupler will come off and I can flip this because otherwise this doesn't have the rotation. It's just looking straight at the ground. Now, if you flipped it, as you can see, if it mounts like this, if I could flip the camera around, um, be pointing down, but I don't want to twist it without breaking any kind of wires, but pretty sure you can do that. Uh, pretty awesome device. And like I said, the cool thing about stuff like this is it's a no-brainer, really, if you want to add a, a good security light around your house and the ability to control it and have that camera. And that's the hardest thing when mounting cameras uh, for security. It's like, where are you going to put them? How are you going to wire them? Where are you going to run the wires? This really takes all that... All, all the pain in the butt out of that. I mean, it's very simple. You wire it up and you're good to go. You got power, you got your lights, you're integrating a camera into something that's already around your home. So um, I think it's an awesome device. Um, definitely something that I will find a location for. And now that I know uh, that you can control the lights via the app, that was an important factor for me because I was thinking like, okay, well, what if I put a box in outside, mount this in my backyard? I can do that, but the problem with that is I, my backyard has a lot of ambient lights. So you have like the LEDs, the string lights. So when you want to entertain at night, you want to go back there and relax. I don't want a spotlight coming on all the time while I'm moving around. So that was kind of a factor why I didn't want to put it outside. But with the, with the uh, feature that you can turn off the light, that's great because I don't mind if the light turns on when I'm sleeping. At night, it's ex extra security, it's added security. Raccoons come around, it's nice to pop on. Uh, I used to have a security light back there that would come on with motion. I would just turn it on or off. Um, you know, when I wanted to use it, I'd keep it on. Naturally, I had a little switch hooked up to it uh, so I could turn it off, but, um, or unplug it for that matter. Because I didn't, like, if you're out there entertaining, you want those beautiful LED lights glowing, you get the fire pit going, you, you don't want the spotlight coming on. So this gives you that control where you can turn it on or off. So I probably will at a later date run a line through the attic, get this thing plugged in and get it hooked up. And I will re-review it and show you guys all the features. But uh, for now, that's the, that's the uh, initial unboxing. I'm sure if you own a home, um, for the most part, you probably already have a location for this. I know some of my neighbors do have, um, you know, my, the front of my home, I actually put in outdoor fixtures around the garage. Um, that are more decorative, but also they're just always on. I didn't really want to add a spotlight or a floodlight. Some of my neighbors have that, so when you pull up, they turn on. Just wasn't something I wanted, uh, but in the backyard, this would absolutely be perfect. So stay tuned, guys. Sonsi, thank you for your generosity in sending me the cam. I'll definitely come back and re-review this at a later date once I have some time to play with it and get it hooked up. Uh, if you do want to go ahead and make a purchase, there is a link in description. Uh, this is obviously something that if you do want to add security to your house, this is the or, uh, video surveillance. This is the easiest way to do it. Only down I can tell you right now that could be an issue is that anything you put outside your house still has to connect with your Wi-Fi network and this has a very very small antenna in it and I believe the antenna probably runs down the length of this right here but you have a little bit of a, a top right here and I will tell you that I upgraded the antennas on my outdoor Wi-Fi cameras just because the signal was becoming a little bit unreliable and I'm not too far from the router we're probably looking at maybe 15 feet max and I have a, a pretty substantial router. And even with those cameras outside, just that distance between you know the, the wall and of course the furniture and the walls in between your router. Remember, the router can have huge antennas on it and still be able to reach the camera, but the camera's gotta be able to get that signal back. So uh, that's the only issue. If you do run into that issue with something like this, you could add um, a Google Home network or a mesh network to get that signal closer outside your house. You could put in an outdoor access point, but um, 
you never know until you try. So if it's something you, you want to get um, and you go ahead and you find that this could be of use to you and you purchase it, um, definitely drop me a comment if you have any problems or questions. I can definitely give you guys uh, some advice. Another option you can use is a Wi-Fi uh, a, a wi repeater. So let's say you have your primary network. Let's say you call it network number one. You mount this outside, you're finding you're not able to connect, the signal's kind of uh, unreliable. What you could do is get very small $20 Wi-Fi repeater and set that up with a separate SSID. So what'll happen is you'll broadcast a separate network to this particular device. So you have your network number one, that's broadcasting to your repeater, and the repeater's gonna broadcast its own SSID network number two to this device, and you'll set it up that way, if you have to do that. Um, only downside is you lose half your bandwidth with any kind of repeater. Uh, they do recommend for this one here, um, as far as your bandwidth is concerned, before we close on this video, I'll give you guys a little bit more information. Um, just off 180 degree uh, angle on the lights and of course the camera. Um, monitor your home from your smartphone and it does come with the installation plate and there is a great video on here if you guys want to and I'll see if I can take that video and republish it um, it is hardwired of course 110 to 240 volts again that's 802.11 BGN Wi-Fi connectivity only 2.4 gigahertz and here's what I wanted to tell you guys um, it does have two-way talk audio as well I failed to mention that and it does require it says here a minimum speed of one megabit a second or two megabits a second is recommended for optimal performance. Uh, that's on your internet connection. So I can tell you right now, um, I'm maxing out my upload speed for the most part. I only have a five megabit a second upload through my internet provider and I'm running 14 cameras. And even with that, yeah, there is a little bit of a delay, but it's very, very slight. So if you're running anything like Xfinity or Comcast or any kind of broadband system, I run DSL, so my maximum download is only, um, and they're a little misleading here, because they don't mention, download speed is important as well. They only mention uh, the upload speed, but my upload, five megs, my download, uh, tops out about four, again, depending on the device, 45 megabits a second, and running all that camera, all the gear I'm running, um, it, it's pretty reliable. So um, don't let that scare you away. I think you can definitely run multiple of these cameras not have any kind of issues whatsoever. Um, that's about it, guys. I hope you guys liked the video. Again, Sansi, thank you for your, again for your generosity. And saying this, I look forward to getting this hooked up and messing around with it and getting to uh, learn how to use it a little bit better. Stay tuned for more Smart Home Tech videos, more Watch This videos. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, I'll definitely, uh, don't hesitate to drop a comment. I'll definitely help you out. And if you want to make a purchase, please do it through my link. It does help support the channel. And you guys have a wonderful day and take care.